The purpose of this exercise is to explore how we digitize a roof when the information provided by the architect or the drawing is inadequate to uh, digitize by moving around, by tracking, up, down, left, right. So we get a job, uh, we scan the image and we save it into a working directory and we select digitize. It's useful to constrain the angles to multiples of say 45 or 22 and a half. Uh, it squares off our building and uh, the, it constrain the lengths to a workable number and I've selected um, 3 inches or 0.25 of a foot. We select turn image on and we are presented with a list of images and uh, we can use GIF and TIFF and BMP and the one we want is uh, this one which is a JPEG. We hit OK and then we digitize the extents of this roof. So we're now ready to start digitizing. Uh, the crosshair is asking us now to digitize the first corner of the wall. Now I want to zoom in a little bit here just to get closer to the action. And uh, so I'll just draw an action, the window around our roof. About there, that's it. And uh, don't have points to snap to, so we have to use our crosshairs to carefully digitize the perimeter of this and uh, get as close as we can uh, understanding that we are snapping to the to the multiple of, uh, of, of three inches and twenty two and a half and we can see there that there's a little inconsistency in this drawing insofar as it, uh, that uh, curved section is not actually multiples of twenty two and a half if that was a bother to us, we'd have to go back and uh, work on that. But in this case, I'm going to uh, just use it as I've digitized it. Now we get to the second last line, and we select Close Straight, and the software automatically closes out. And this is the critical uh, critical stage of this process, where we're going to rescale the outline. Now we know from our drawing that this line is 30 feet long. And when we've digitized it, line 3 has come in at 15 foot 3 inches. So we use the option here, scale the entire outline. So 30 feet is what we want, divided by what we've got, 15 foot 3. And the software automatically scales the entire job to suit. And we hit cancel. Um, the pitch of the roof is 612. The overhang is 2 feet. The E height is, say, 10. And we hit OK and continue. And the roof is then drawn. Uh, exactly as it should be. We're not going to save the model, we're going to zoom fit and now we can see the, the shape of our roof. We go to construct roof, digitize once again, turn off the underlying image and and there's our roof. Now the only thing left to do now is to draw the, uh, the entrance portico and uh, we'll use construct roof again and uh, in fact we won't, we'll use a track outline and we'll digitize our start point at the corner of the wall there and we're going uh, from that point we're going in this direction but from the drawing it says we need to go 4 foot 4 and insert and then we want to go up this way 14 foot 11 and insert and then I'm just going up into the roof so 12 feet and insert and then back down this way 14 foot uh, 11 and insert and then close straight and finish this uh, will be at a slightly higher 12 foot 6 and ok and I want a gable end for that end yes continue so I've drawn that part of the roof then I simply use the, uh, the function modify roof project cable to project that ridge line to this roof plan. So there's our roof. And there's a bit of tidy up to do underneath this plane, but we'll do that in another exercise. But in the meantime, that's the shape of the roof. Have fun practicing that, and we look forward to seeing you at the next exercise.